We just got another Xbox console exclusive, Dungeons of Hintonburg. This is a day one release on Xbox Game Pass. You can also pick it up for PC through Steam. Visually, this game looks exactly like Hi-Fi Rush. Even the gameplay is somewhat similar to Hi-Fi Rush, but it's also a lot different. The pace of the combat in Dungeons of Hintonburg is slower. It has a bit of RPG feel to it instead of the action adventure feel of Hi-Fi Rush. This game really sets itself apart from other games we've seen. It's fairly unique. The world's filled with dungeons. Each dungeon is fairly unique. To get through each one, you have to have some combat skills, but that's not all. The other thing you need to do are solve these mind-bending puzzles, and that's really gonna help you get through a dungeon. As you progress, the dungeons become more difficult and quite a bit more interesting. While Hi-Fi Rush is a linear game, Dungeons of Hintonburg isn't linear. Even though the world's not completely open, the game still gives you choices as to how you want to progress and which activities and you know which dungeons you want to solve once you're done beating your daily dungeon you return to town and there's a social aspect to the game there's quite a bit of rpg progression as you're gonna hang out with different characters in town and boost your social skills this game it's fairly deep and the more i played it the more i appreciated how good it is visually from its art style it's a basic looking game it's not on Xbox One, but I'm sure Xbox One can run this at low resolutions. It's exclusive to the current gen. On Xbox Series S and X, there's two graphic modes, performance and quality. Performance mode runs the game at dynamic 1440p resolution on Series S and dynamic 4K resolution on Series X. The target frame rate here on both consoles is 60 FPS. And guess what? That frame rate's pretty well locked to 60. You're not gonna see any drops or issues, a solid lock 60 FPS on both consoles. And then there's quality mode. This increases the graphics fidelity, delivering a solid 1440p resolution on Series S and 4K on Series X. But in quality mode, it's the frame rate that suffers. Both consoles still target 60 FPS, but the actual frame rate varies well below that. On Xbox Series S drop, to the mid 40s are common this is a common occurrence during combat where you're going to get those 40s and even in some of these open areas xbox series x isn't as bad it's still not a solid 60 fps but the series x managed to still push around mid to high 50s so if you want a solid 60 FPS, then of course choose performance mode, but quality mode isn't bad. If you have a variable refresh rate display, then that 45 plus FPS is still good enough. I mean, it's better than locking that quality mode to 30 FPS like we see with other games. Now, I don't want to make excuses for Xbox. To be fair, this game should be running 4K 60 FPS at this point. The game doesn't exactly have that next gen looking graphics feel. I mean, sure, the art style is nice but this game isn't about the graphics it's about the gameplay if the current gen can't run a game like this at 4k 60 fps well then it's time for some new hardware overall this is a good game eight and a half out of ten if you have xbox game pass for sure you should check this out and if you're gonna play it just give it at least a few hours of gameplay before you make up your mind because the game does get better as you progress one thing i didn't talk about here are the loading times i feel like there's no point because I covered that on so many occasions for all these games. For this game, loading times are quick on both consoles, so you won't be really waiting around for anything. That's really what you need to know about Dungeons of Hintonburg on Xbox Series S versus Series X. For the rest of the video, I have some more side-by-side -side gameplay with that FPS counter shown.